So here's a quick tutorial of what I use to do my roller sets and how I make my curls really define the placements, the partings, the sections, the sizes of the rods that I use. When wrapping my hair, I use about five different size rods just for more definition, and that is not water. I'm going to tell you about that. It gives me extra hydration while my hair is setting. So here's how I get from point A to point B. Well, not exactly. I'm not doing makeup in this video. That's a lot better. So these are all the products that I use. A lot of these oils are located inside of my finger sprayer. I'll tell you about that later. There's my tools, my wet brush, my fine tooth comb. I need that for separation and control. To rehydrate my hair, I use aloe vera juice and coconut water. The benefits that it has for hair are amazing and I love to give my hair some extra nutrients. So a lot of naturalistas refer to what I'm doing as the lock method. You want to use a leave-in conditioner, an oil, and a cream. So I do that and then I distribute it evenly throughout my hair using my wet brush just to make sure every strand is saturated. So I separate the horseshoe section of my hair from everything underneath the horseshoe and then for more control I put my gel in these little Tupperware containers. That so everywhere under the horseshoe is going to be divided into four and you want to make sure the width of your rod does not exceed the width of your hair that way you have more control. After you select your parting saturate the section with gel and make sure you distribute it evenly so that your hair can wrap around the rod completely without any dry spots and you have an even curl. While you're wrapping your hair around the rod it is extremely important to pull taut. If your hair is still curly while it's going around the rod it's going to dry like that. So pull as taut as you can make sure you have enough gel and hydrate your hair with the aloe vera juice and coconut water so that it's saturated enough so you can manipulate your hair strands. Yes, the kitchens get wrapped too. Make sure you have small rods to get the little hard to reach areas. Pull your hair up and over if you can. That way when you set your rod on your scalp, it fits on base. So this is the set underneath the horseshoe section. Now I'm gonna split the top section. I'm going to divide that from the crown and the front of my hair and rehydrate with like aloe vera juice and coconut water. I do a crisscross section to complete the top. So once you have your rollers in, you're going to want to really condition your scalp because it's going to get kind of dry and you don't want to have like a really cute roller set and you're like patting. Now what you want to do is just go through your rollers just to make sure that they're really tight. Not tight enough to give you a headache, but tight enough so that your curls won't loosen up. You're going to be sitting down for a long time. My advice to you is to put on a movie or your favorite music or whatever. You won't be done until you're done. Alright, so I'm all set. I'm going to take this out in the morning and show you how it came out. And then I'm just going to wear it. Just wear it till I can't wear it no more. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. I don't want them this tight at all. I'm going to split each roller set into four. Start right here. Pull it up. Put it up. Be gentle while doing this. Pull the section completely up, unravel, and then separate them. Then afterwards, just finger style your hair until you're content. It's going to use a little bit of spray ants for some shine. So just go through and find all the gaps and just pull your curls apart. I'm going to really wear this to see how long it lasts. I'm going to sleep on it because I ain't got time to rewrap enough so I can go to sleep. And this is my satin bonnet. So when I go to bed, pop this on. And I'll sleep on it. <laughs>
I'm even going to the gym. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to sweat it out just to see what it looks like in five days. So, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, in the morning, I'll just like fluff it out. So the belly chain and the earring set that I'm wearing comes from this awesome jewelry maker. I found her on Etsy. Her name is Tiara Forever. I'll leave a link in the description. These earrings are beautiful and the waist are her inch by inch waist beads. That way as you lose weight, you can continue to wear them without it falling off or being too tight.